Good morning. I am so excited to be back with another Tuesday Talk. We're very, very hopeful that this Tuesday Talk will happen today on Tuesday. So if it doesn't, that would be Mr. Hilger. But uh, anyway, we're working on it. We're getting better. I uh, am really excited to be here with Dalton Holder today, junior here at Purcell High School. We're going to talk a little bit about a new organization that we started called the Principal Student Advisory Council. Uh, first of all, though, I want to congratulate both of our basketball teams. Two great wins last night at District. They play this Thursday at Kingston, I believe, and so we're excited about that. Appreciate our basketball teams last night, our cheerleaders, for their great job at the game. Um, really excited. A lot of student activities going on right now. Our band has solo ensemble this Saturday, so we have that coming up. Our, our FFA students have their bonus auction next week on February 25th, so that's coming up. Our student council continues to do great work around the school. Our road week is, is coming up, so we're, we're really seeing some return to normalcy around the school. We're excited about that, but we have to keep focusing on our, our protocols to keep ourselves safe and our staff safe at school. I'll talk about that here in a second, but I want to come back to our Principal Student Advisory Council. This is a new organization that we have created to give students more voice in their school. And we have chosen uh, four representatives uh, one from each class, senior Liz Carolumpio, junior Dalton Holder, sophomore KK Eck, and freshman Noah Gracie. These students had an opportunity to speak to the entire faculty last week about issues that affect students and that they have concerns about and that what they're thinking about. And so these students represent you guys, so I wanted to give Dalton a real quick chance to talk about um, his experience last week talking to the faculty. Yeah. During the Zoom meeting, obviously because of the snow, we were able to address lots of topics like COVID protocols. We were able to talk about changes to the dress code that we might possibly want to make, um, different things about traditional and PL pathways, and overall get a chance to address all faculty about any issues we felt, and they were able to ask us questions. So hopefully this is a good opportunity to be able to get a lot of student input in a lot of the administrative processes. Thank you, Dalton. I just appreciate our students last week. I had so many teachers come up to me and compliment you guys on how well-spoken you were and how you represented the views of students. And, and we want to continue to make sure that the students have a voice. We have a committee that is meeting this week to discuss our dress code and to discuss poss possible changes that would go into effect next year. And that committee does include a student. Uh, Liz will sit on that committee tomorrow as a student representative, which is a very powerful spot and, and, and a voice for those students. So we're excited about that. Uh, she'll sit on that as her role as our senior uh, member of the Student Advisory Council. Um, so we uh, certainly want to continue to include student voice and decisions that are made that impact students directly. I want to talk real quick about our COVID protocols. I'm really proud of where we are right now. We are in much better shape um, as far as uh, right now, we, we don't have any students quarantined. Uh, it's the first time I could say that in a long time. Um, we do have uh, a couple of staff members that are currently quarantined, but our numbers have improved dramatically. And numbers uh, in our community in the state and nationwide have improved dramatically as far as total number of cases. So we are moving in the right direction. Here at Purcell, we're in better shape than some of the schools that are in surrounding areas, and the reason we are is because of the protocols that we have followed this year. I know everybody wants to quit wearing a mask. I totally get it. I want to quit wearing a mask, but now is not the time. We need to continue, as I adjust my map, we need to continue to practice our safety protocols, particularly mask wearing and social distancing to the best of our ability, and we are on the right track. I'm really looking forward to as normal as possible a prom and graduation and those important events, but now is not the time to quit practicing our safety protocols. You guys have done a tremendous job this year. We need to keep that up. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We are getting back to normal slowly but surely, but we need to keep doing what we have been doing to this point. So thank you. Keep it up. Excited about all the activities. Excited about our student involvement. Dalton, thank you so much for sharing a few words. And hopefully, are you okay, Mr. Hilger? Yep. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get this out today. Appreciate everybody. Have a great week. Good luck to our basketball teams this week.